up, boys? Yo. By the way, this is my girlfriend, Melissa. She's a public accountant here in West Hollywood. Hi, guys. Yeah, she works with Chase Bank. It's, uh, it's, it's a pretty lucrative job. You guys have a great day today, and uh, we'll check you later. Wait, wait. Enjoy yourselves. Wait, do we know her? Do you guys bank at Chase? No. She's that girl from that thing, man. No. Go, babe, go! Go, go, go! Time to clock oh. in. I got it. I'm gonna be some awesome. Not really. Mike sucks ass, so it's amazing to watch him. Yeah, man, my boy just DM'd me this shit. What is this all about? Investigation. Who is the soccer player that DM'd Lana Rhodes? <laughs> Babe, spill the beans. On what? Who is the soccer player that DM'd you? I don't know. The whole world wants to know. I don't know. I don't know. Secrets, mystery. Oh my god, bro. You look like a freaking terrorist, god. bro. Did you get a haircut high yeah. and tight? Do you like it? I like you. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you said you were gonna get a little hookup action last night. I'm running dry, Mike. No sex drive, no libido. A girl running around like this. Yeah, I'm gonna fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. And I'm just like, yo, shut the fuck up just so I can, what, get a nut and get off? Are you gonna have a girlfriend soon? I hope so. <laughs> Guys, come on, please. Applications below. Welcome back to the night shift, ladies and gentlemen. You're working late, and so are we. It's time to clock in. Right now, I'm making my good friend Logan Paul some coffee, so I'm actually working late as well because he needs to stay caffeinated to make the best vlogs in the fucking world. Hey, oh, good morning, Logan. What's poppin'? Oh my god. There's one other very important person that I need you to meet today. Hi, it's nice to meet you. What's his name? Randy the mop. Miss it. A lot of people miss this guy. You realize that you're 35 and your friend is a mop. <laughs> so if you're new to the night shift, you might not remember it, but the original episodes featured Randy the mop. He's actually the reason why the Grim Reaper is holding a mop on the back of the graveyard shift drop, which is now available again at shopthenightshift.com. Long story short, Mike was cuddling me, and then I was cuddling our baby Ida. She was a little spoon for me. And then Mike goes, time to go to sleepy, Bill. Population three. Mike, <laughs> I didn't know you were such a pussy. <laughs> if you follow me on Twitter, you may have seen about two days ago, Lana tweeted at me and said something along the lines of, other girls want to suck his dick, but I just bought a Lambo. She then texted me about five minutes later and said, babe, I just looked at this Lambo. I really like it. It's really shiny. I told her not to buy it. She bought it. She fucking bought it. She bought a Lamborghini. She bought a, a V10 Huracan, it's called. W what the fuck were you thinking? I've been having self-esteem steam issues because I've been breaking out a little bit and all these girls are fucking sliding in Mike's DMs like talking about sucking his dick so I needed a little ego boost I have like small dick syndrome and bought a fucking Lamborghini to make myself feel better also I was thinking since food and food tasting is such a pivotal part of the night shift I'll bring you guys along with us today for a ride to an LA mainstay a place called Egg Slut where they serve these absolutely crazy bacon egg and cheeses some of the best I've ever had in my entire life bye babe see you later all right, so she opted for the white exterior with the black and red interior. This is the 2020 Evo. It's got a V10 fucking engine in it. This thing's crazy. And the first question she said is, There's no cup holders. Yes, there are cup holders, and I found them. They're right They're here. They're fucking tiny, though. How's my fucking Essentia water going to fit in that little tiny hole? I've seen bigger things go into smaller holes. <laughs> what, like you? Speaking of which, here's another tweet that she sent out about the Lambo. You ready? <laughs> stuck in this Lamborghini with me. Hold on, let me lock the door. Just wanted to tell you that I love you. <laughs> uh, how do you get out of this fucking thing? <laughs> Oh my god, this thing's got some real pickup, huh? So as you guys know, in the last vlog that we put out, I was extremely scared of her driving. I'm her. not swerving in different lanes with my Lambo. We haven't been on the highway yet, so I'm not exactly sure what's gonna happen here. Honestly, like all the other cars just like avoid me on the highway in this car. No one fucking cuts me off because no one wants to hit a fucking Lambo. I have to ask you this question. Huh? Have you responded to the soccer player that DM'd you yet? I did not because I have a beautiful boyfriend who's so sweet to me and amazing and I love you. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even know what to say. Michael has the like worst commitment anxiety. Like, and I'm just saying it to fuck with him because it makes him so uncomfortable. Moment of truth. The reason why you buy cars in LA. Time to hit the open road. God freaking dang it. What's the point of even owning this thing in Los Angeles? Just want to flex on some rappers, man. All right, so it's like 2.30 p.m. I don't think there's ever really a bad time for bacon, egg, and cheese. And this place is honestly the best. Supposedly, they put like 15 sticks of butter or some shit in like all their eggs, and their croissants are cooked fresh every day. Croissants? It's on croissants. Croissants. I pull one of the 
those fuckers out. Got the brioche bun, the cheddar cheese, the egg, the bacon. Why do I feel like this is slowly becoming a mukbang channel? Is that how you pronounce it? Mukbang. Mukbang. When the first one of these opened like a few years back, there was only one downtown LA and I used to go and wait for like an hour in line for these. The day we come, they're like shooting a commercial because they're about to open one in Korea, in South Korea. It's all over the place. It's in like Las Vegas, LA. So good. I see my man, he been on YouTube real crazy. Tell him who you are first. Yo, it's your boy, it's cute. Wait, hold on. You, you gonna blame me out like I do in your vlog? Nah, nah, I'm not doing, <laughs> I don't do that. Only Logan does that. Shout yourself out. All right, follow at Logan Paul. So they got cheeseburgers here too. Got the pickles on it with the you egg on me? top. Give me a taste tester on it. Hey! All right, that's it for egg slot. If you guys are ever in LA, or Las Vegas, or wherever else there's one, I'm not gonna put a link to their website because they didn't. Nah, they didn't pay me shit for it. It's just a really dope place to eat. So if you're ever in one of the places where there's an egg slot, go to that, try it out. She's about to leave too. She's got. What are you doing today? Um, I'm doing a photo shoot for my merch with Lana and Riley. Shout out Lana the plug. Shout out Riley Reed. Also, if you want to buy Lana's merch, just go, just go buy the buttery toast. Right? She's so, she's so supportive, honestly. Are you gonna come with me? Now that you have the Lambo, can I take the beater? Is that cool? You got the Lambo now, I'm taking the beater. Well, look who it is, my old assistant. As soon as she finds somebody that pays a little bit more money, she scrams, just like my dad did when I was younger. Yeah, she treats me way better, so don't make me expose you, Mike. <laughs> Man, whatever, screw both of you, I'm out of here. I'm taking my shit Honda Civic Uber back to the valley. Fuck both of you guys. Don't forget to pet Nini and Juju before you leave and give them kisses. Look at her. Girls, she's not as nice, he's not as nice too. Babe, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know how I feel about these dogs. There are children. Uh, all right, night shifters and those who are clocked in. I know we've come a long, long way from the 35 to 40 minute episodes that this show started with here on the night shift slash impulsive set. And a lot of people are asking, are these studio sessions coming back? And to be honest, I don't have an exact answer for that. That's not really why I'm here today. I'm not here to predict the future. Why I am here is because I want to take a moment to say thank you. Thank you to all the new subscribers, to the millions and millions of people who have watched the show over the past month and a half to all the people who bought the buttery toast merch to all the people that bought the graveyard shift merch and most importantly all of the OG night shifters who have been here since the beginning I want to take a second to say thank you so much I never ever thought in a million years that this show was gonna become what it is today and to be honest with you I'm just completely blown away by it I know there's a lot of people who are also asking for more episodes people hitting me up on Twitter on Instagram that may happen in the future it may change formats it may go back to the studio sessions it may get picked up by a network we've had those discussions but to be honest with you over the next couple months a lot of my energy is going to shift to be focused on my book. I'm sure you guys have seen some of that on Twitter and on Instagram as well. On April 15th, the fifth vital will be released. It will be the shining achievement of my life. And for that reason, I'm putting a lot of my attention into the book right now, into finalizing the manuscript, the cover art, the marketing, so on and so forth, so that it can arrive to you guys on time, April 15th. It will be available globally, paperback on Amazon, as well as audiobook that I will be personally narrating, because I know a lot of you guys have been asking about that as well. The other main focus over the next couple months will be continuing to build the Night Shift clothing company, clocked in, whatever you wanna call it. This stuff has been selling incredibly well and has been super fun for me. I've always wanted to have a clothing brand. I've always wanted to have a brand of my own. So be on the lookout for that as well. There's gonna be a lot more toned down designs, a lot of really simple stuff with less illustrations because I know I have an aged up audience who wants that. But other than that, I don't really know why I want to do this today besides to sit down, get you guys back in the studio, give you a little bit of an update on my life and more than anything to say thank you so, so much and uh, let you guys know I, I, I literally could not do this without you, whether you're watching for me, for the night shift, for the mop, watching for Logan, watching for Lana, I don't really care why you're watching the show, but honestly, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for riding with me, for paying attention to my story, for watching the content, and for uh, just being a part of the movement. But other than that, that's all I really wanted to say today. You guys have been busting your ass on the overtime, so go get some rest. Thanks for working late with us. That's it for tonight's episode of the Night Shift Overtime. Clocking out.
Uh, just gonna work on some of these studs here. We're building a new house, foundation set. Uh, I'm just really here to check to make sure that everything's up to par and uh, 